David Rios with Green Tech Heat Solutions. Uh, today we're going to do a demonstration on the EPRO 1400 trailer package. So this has a 50kW generator in it with uh, 3 of the 1400s. And here's some of the upgrades we've done to the trailer. Um, the startup process is real simple. You know, once you turn it on, that brings power to the power control box. Um, give it a minute to boot up. And then you'll see the uh, home screen come on, it has the kilowatt readings. You just hit the green button, starts counting down from nine, two, one, and it starts right up. So once it starts up and it's running and it's up and going, you know, you hook up your extension cords run them to your treatment area, hook up your heaters. Um, all these breakers are on here to the correspondence of the cords. So you'll see that, you know, this top cord is the top breaker. This middle cord is the middle breaker. This bottom cord is the bottom breaker. Um, and in order to get power to them, we just turn off the main breaker. That makes it to where you keep all these other breakers on. And this is the main on and off for the, uh, heaters and it's a simple simple setup now i do want to go over one thing real quick so depending on what region you're in let's say for instance you're in uh any of the colder states and i was going to say the northern states but as we've seen this uh, this winter they came down a little bit lower you know so sometimes that may drain the battery if you have a jump starter you may want to utilize that with the jump starter also you can have your block heater and your um, trickle charger plugged in to make sure that the battery has constant power going to it. And then once you, you know, make sure you, the batteries, you want to make sure that there's power going to it. And then once you're done shutting it all down, boom, just kill the power switch to it. And that, that turns off the, uh, the screen and it doesn't allow any more power to go trickling into the engine, killing your battery in the process. Right. The trailer. Yeah. So it's got, a. Uh, lift on the front so it's electric it's hooked up to the battery inside so you can uh, lift it up we got sway bars on the trailer itself uh, we have uh, a spare tire in the front and we have changed our louvers over to this uh, door to where you can drive in the winter time and not have to worry about the ice coming inside also we have a grill to be able to keep anybody out and we have access panels to where you can reach inside and hook up your cords. On the other side, we have an access to where you can fuel up your fill up your fuel, and so that makes it easily accessible. Through the driver's side, and so you can reach right inside and take off your fuel cap and fill up. So this right here is uh, our, um, so we used to have louvers here before. Now we put in a, um, a door to where you can open and close it. Once again, this is to keep, um, you know, any craters out and also to be able to run in this nice cold weather. So, you know, you're gonna open it up. You're not gonna have any ice inside. So we've definitely upgraded this to this door. Um, uh, yeah, so, you know, it's made to be able to swing it inward, outward. We have a rubber all the way around the edge to where it'll keep out any of the moisture and the weather outside to where you're doing with a nice clean trailer. Uh, we have also changed the exhaust to where it goes upward, uh, no longer on the downside of it. And so, you know, now it's just gonna shoot straight up. This trailer is sitting at nine foot, six inches. Uh, we got a sticker on the side to remind you every time you look at your mirror so you can uh, keep an eye on those uh, uh, any overpasses and anything of the sort so um, yeah so all of these new doors to be able to keep out. also so if I bring you onto the inside we've upgraded the shelving so before we we're using a less superior uh, shelving unit um, now we these are custom made at uh the company that makes our heaters uh these are a one by one with a 10 gauge uh cold rolled uh steel on them and they're all welded together we got a little lip on them to where 
If you want to put something up here, you know, it will not fall off the edge. You're putting the strap across. All your equipment's gonna be inside. We got some new straps to be able to keep everything in. We have added some hooks on the back to where all your wire will hang up here. And we have also made a dedicated spot for the um, dolly itself to where it's strapped in, ready to use. You know, I've got the um, non-slip coating, which helps really nicely. As you can see, we've been walking in ice. We just go right up the ramp, not having to worry about slipping. And like I mentioned earlier as well, so we did have the exhaust go straight up. We have wrapped it with some uh, in, some exhaust insulation, just in case you touch it, you don't burn yourself. But we do have some caution signs that there is a hot pipe right here. So, um, you know, and this is, we all have also put some sheeting on the, on the top to be able to keep it well insulated. This helps with the sound um, to where, you know, you can direct the sound by where you're opening the doors to. Uh, here are the three 1400s strapped in and you got your nine fans all strapped in nice and safe. And also we have uh, your crate with all your belongings. Ooh. So so we got the wall wires coming in. Oh, this is our training room. We got a 1400. And you see that flower of heat just coming right off of that. Oh, we got our fans circulating back around. We got 125 degrees in here. And you see a nice flower of heat just coming right off that heater. So beautiful. So we got ourselves testing out this piece of equipment here at the Green Tech Heat Solutions 